welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Fry fields it at the 13. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Waters, overall ability, Herb, he's got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. hits him hard at the 39. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 40. Waters only picks up about a yard there on the option. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike, four. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From the 42-yard line, first down. Gains about five yards on the run. seven yards with a catch there he has such a quick first step once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant he already had the space he needed for the first down tackle at the 30 and the halfback's got nowhere to go second and nine ball on the 30. gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Two down, two down. Two down. Two down. Quick out to his receiver. This receiving core runs some great routes. And that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. He's 
first tackle at the 39-yard line. That's a good There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's level at the 43-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? From their own 43-yard line, third down. And he throws it away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Fry, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he's taken down right around the two-yard line. Second down. And as they come up to the line, they're going to be in the shadow of their own goalpost. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Thomas to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it to the 42-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. down 10 to go ball on the 26 yard line well when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains you got a big time advantage over any defense down and they'll be looking for six points here and he gets the touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point with a three-play, 42-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 7-3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30, and he just got drilled. The Cowboys are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. They'll bring him down right around the 30.
Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Cowboys in front, 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Hopefully he's going to be okay. It's third and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's scrambling. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 45. And they hit him in the backfield. on the screen. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Thomas is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The Mustangs running back left the game earlier with that injury. What we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. Gets out to around the 28. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The Mustangs saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. After a decent run up the gut. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires it out, and he is drilled at the 45 yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of down. First and 10, ball on their own 45. Tackle made at the 44. for the offense. You connect with your wide out hoping to make a play and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 42. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Fires it 
fires out quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. The Mustangs will use their first time out of the half. That makes it second and two. Complete. He's got room. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out quickly. He's hit and taken down. That'll make it second and seven. the 39 yard line it's second down the Mustangs wide receiver we hope can make a comeback get back in this ball game went out with that injury a little bit earlier pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 37. Catches it, needs immediately tackle behind the line. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Kick is up. It's got the distance. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. It cannot let these receivers get behind them. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. And he just drilled it from long range. I just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. We played a half of football here. The Cowboys with a touchdown lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, 
don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I try to. That stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And down he goes at the 23. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He steps out at about the 23-yard line. and 10. Ball on their own 44. Give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. rid of this one and here's another third down he's tackled at the 42 the 42 yard line first down he throws a dart to the right here's the eighth play of the series that makes it second and ten quickly to the tight end and he shoved out of bounds right around the 34 so far this drive the defense has been unable to stop them on third down and he's leveled at the 26 yard line this is the 10th play of this drive He's tackled behind the line. From the 28 yard line, second down. And he 
He's taken down at about the 21. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Got an opening. And it pays off. Touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 17-3. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 36. From their own 36-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 32. Some time. They'll make the sack. Third and long now after the sack. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Mike four, Mike four. Let's go. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost big. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Looks middle, got his back, and he's stopped behind the line. Five-yard loss on the play. But that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. down there on the line. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Once it all, going deep. Brought down around the 26 yard line. That makes it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Check, 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 check. Mike four, Mike four. <laughs> Makes it out to about the 13. That's how we do, 
from the 13-yard line. It's first down. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Hunter gets a carry left side, and he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it third and 11. From the 14-yard line, it's third down. The Mustangs quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier. Got on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-3, Cowboy. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Pressure coming. Got hit and still completed it. Tackle made around the seven-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Tackled after a decent pickup. Outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. it out to about the 46. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it to the 34. From the 34-yard line, first down. Mustangs will use their first time out of the half. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Hey, 
A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here's the 12th play of the drive. It was a 12 play, 94 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fry fields it at the 13, and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Just over a minute left. Aaron and out long. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Big play, and it's first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. They're at the three. It's second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. From the 45-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Cowboys get the win. 24-10. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.